Hi, today we're going to be subtracting mixed numbers with like denominators and with unlike denominators and with some renaming. The first problem we have here is 14 and 2 fifths minus 5 and 4 fifths. So if we look at the numerators, I cannot subtract 4 from 2. So in this instance, because I cannot subtract 4 from 2, or in other words, 2 minus 4, I'm going to have to rename using that 14. So 14 is going to become 13. I use the denominator of my fraction. I turn that into 5 fifths, which is equivalent to 1. So essentially, we still have the same number. We still have uh, 14, but now it's stated differently. I go ahead and add the original fraction, which is 2 fifths. And now what I have left is 13 and 7 fifths. So now I have a new mixed number. And if I look down at the, at the other mixed number that I'm going to subtract, now it's going to be able to work because I have 13 and 7 fifths minus 5 and 4 fifths. Look at the numerators. I'm able to subtract. Now in this case, we're going to be subtracting fractions first. 7 minus 4, which is our, my numerator, 7 minus 4, gives me 3. And my denominator stays the same, which is 5. And now I take care of my whole numbers. 13 minus 5 equals 8. So my answer is 8 and 3 fifths. I can check my work by adding 8 and 3 fifths plus 5 and 4 fifths and that'll get me to 14 and 2 fifths with some regrouping. So 8 and 3 fifths plus 4 and 5 and 4 fifths, sorry, gives me 13 and 7 fifths. And then I simply regroup. I turn that improper fraction, 7 fifths, into 1 and 2 fifths plus 13, and it gives me an answer of 14 and 2 fifths, which is what I have um, to solve my original problem. For our next problem, we're going to be subtracting 4 and 1 thirds minus 2 and 1 fifth. Now, what you're going to notice about this problem is that the denominators are not the same, so they are unlike. We're going to have to find a common denominator. So you have two options. You could either find the least common denominator, a multiple of 3 and 5 that they have in common, or you could multiply the denominators, 3 times 5. In this case, they happen to be one and the same. So. Uh, the LCD, or the least common denominator, is 15. So you go ahead and set them up, and you create your equivalent fractions. The equivalent fractions are equal. They have equal value. So 1 fifth is equal to 3 fifteenths. And 1 third is equal to 5 fifteenths. Once you have set this up, you're going to rewrite your problem for neatness to avoid making any computation errors. So now you have a mixed number of 4 and 5 fifteenths minus 2 and 3 fifteenths. Now ask yourself, can I subtract 3 from 5? 5 minus 3? The answer is yes. So there is no need to rename in this problem. Be sure that you understand when you're subtracting so you know when you have to rename. Otherwise, you're going to be working hard and not smart. So I take care of my fractions. 5 minus 3 equals 2. My denominator is 15. I take care of my whole numbers. 4 minus 2 equals 2. So my final answer is 2 and 2 fifteenths. You could also check your work, in this case, by using area models or by using a number line. So once you do your problem using standard algorithm, you could use those other methods. Our next problem, we have 9 and 9 tenths minus 4 and 2 fifths. In this case, we don't have a common denominator, so we're going to have to find a common denominator before we can do any subtraction. So find the least common denominator of 10 and 5. We could always multiply. That would give us 50, but that's going to cause us to have to simplify it in the very end. So we'll go with the LCD. In this case, it's 10. So the equivalent fraction of 2 fifths equals 4 tenths. 
and the equivalent fraction of 9 tenths equals 9 tenths. In this case, that stays the same because of the denominator we chose. Once I have that, I'm going to go ahead and rewrite my problem to avoid any mistakes. So my new mixed number is 9 and 9 tenths minus 4 and 4 tenths. I take a look at my subtraction. There is no need to rename. Subtract. My answer is 5 and 5 tenths. Or in simplest form, my answer is 5 and 1 half. Now for our last problem, we have 4 and 1 half minus 2 and 7 tenths. We're going to have to find uh, the least common denominator. We could use 20, but we want to use something smaller to avoid um, having to work too hard putting our end result, our answer, in simplest form. So we're going to use 10. The equivalent fraction of 7 tenths is 7 tenths. The equivalent of 1 half equals 5 tenths. So my new mixed numbers, my new problem is set up as 4 and 5 tenths minus 2 and 7 tenths. Now in this case, if you look at your numerators, I can't subtract 7 from 5. I can't do 5 minus 7. So if that's the case, I'm going to have to go to step number 2, which is rename, because I cannot subtract 7 from 5. I cannot do 5 minus 7. So I start off with my 4 with my whole number. I'm going to rename 4. Just think fraction tiles. I have 3 holes and I have, I'm going to use 10 tenths. Now think fraction tiles. If you were to have that, that's still equivalent to 4 holes. You have 3 holes and 10 tenths. It's still equal to 4. Now add the original fraction that came with the mixed number, which was 5 tenths, and you end up with 3 and 15 tenths. Now I move over my um, second part of the problem. We have 2 and 7 tenths. I subtract first by using uh, by subtracting the the numerators. 15 minus 7 gives me 8. My denominator stays the same, just 10. Now I move on to the whole numbers. 3 minus 2 equals 1. I look at my answer. Is it in simplest form? In this case, it's not. The greatest common factor is 2. So my answer is 1 and 4 fifths. My final answer is 1 and 4 fifths. And you could always use an alternative method like area models or number lines to also find the solution. Thanks.